in ancient Greece, there used to be a big theater competition called the City Dionysia. This was named after the god Dionysus, the god of fertility and wine. People would come to Athens from all over Greece to celebrate this festival of theatre. The playwrights had to submit four plays. One tragic trilogy, i.e. three very sad plays, and one comic play called a satire. Hundreds and hundreds of Greek plays were written. But this was a long time ago, more than 2,000 years ago. We've lost most of these plays. However, the work of three men still survives. These three writers are known as the Three Tragedians. Their names are Aeschylus, Sophocles and Euripides. The first winner of the City Dionysia competition was Thespis, who gave us the first actor. Aeschylus was inspired by what Thespis had done, so he added the second actor. Suddenly, there could be conflict between the two actors. And conflict is the most important ingredient in drama. Because of this, Aeschylus is known as the father of Greek tragic theatre. Aeschylus was a serious man and a soldier. He had fought in the Battle of Marathon in the war between the Greeks and the Persians. Aeschylus was a serious man and he was quite religious. His plays deal with morality and justice. And man's relationship with the gods. Sophocles introduced the third actor. His plays were not as religious as Aeschylus plays, but they were more concerned with the relationship between people. Euripides, who came after Sophocles, was also concerned with the relationships between people, but Euripides would portray people as they really are. Sophocles, on the other hand, portrayed people as they should be. Now finally, on to Euripides. In his day, Euripides was actually the least popular of the three tragedians. But today, he is celebrated for his psychological realism. he was unpopular because he questioned the norms in his day. His characters would criticize the gods. As we said before, Euripides portrayed people just as they are, 
flawed and imperfect. This was different from Sophocles, who portray people in a more idealistic way. I hope you enjoyed that video, and I hope you enjoyed learning about the ancient Greek theatre. If you'd like to see more of these videos, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Please share this video with whomever you think it will be helpful to. And as they say in Greece, yes us! Goodbye!